atoms and the molecules and the materials are irradiated with light, electrons respond fast to the light field, and then the energy absorbed by the electron is transferred to the nuclei, resulting in the variety of dynamical processes, uh, such as vibration excitations, chemical bond breaking, and the changes in the morphology on the surface. In order to control dynamical processes, we need to investigate how fast the electron responds to the uh, external field within a very short period of time of atom second. The atom division is uh, one of the two divisions uh, in Advanced Laser Innovation Center. And ALIF is one of the flagships uh, of a quantum leap uh, project. Uh, which is called the Q-Leap. In outer division, 32 research groups, 12 uh, universities, and the five research institutes, and the three companies are involved. We will develop and the prototypes of uh, outer second light sources, and also a prototypes of measurement systems to be ready for the commercialization by the end of this uh, project time. ATO project is divided into High Intensity Atto Second Light Source Laser Development Group, High Repetition Atto Second Light Source Laser Development Group, and Measurement Systems and Technology Development Group. Researchers at RIKEN are working on developing a high-energy mid-infrared femtosecond pulsed light source with an energy of 100 millijoules and a pulse width of about 2 cycles at a wavelength of 1.6 micrometers using DC OPA, dual-chirped optical parametric amplification. RIKEN Group will also develop atosecond pulsed light sources with high power in the gigawatt class in the extreme ultraviolet to soft X-ray region. Recently, we have developed a driver laser for single arc and pulse generation with gigawatt class of power. We have constructed the DC OPA using a BIDO crystal with broader face matching condition to achieve a few cycle and resolution plus driver laser policy. The laser system consists of a front-end laser with a repetition rate of 1 kHz and a back-end laser with a 10 Hz multipass amplifier. In order to achieve a pulse width of several cycles in DC OPA, it is necessary to prepare a seed beam with a bandwidth of 1.6 octave at a central wavelength. To achieve this, they focus the output light from a Thai Sapphire laser, which is a front-end laser, onto the Krypton gas and use self-phase modulation SPM, to broaden the spectral bandwidth. By the end of this project, we will have developed a 1 gigawatt, 100 arcosecond light source covering the soft X-ray water window spectral region. At the Institute for Solid State Physics, the University of Tokyo, there are 10 laboratories working on material science using lasers in Kashiwa campus and at Spring 8, a synchrotron radiation facility located in Harama. Here in Kashiwa, development of laser light sources and advanced measurement devices is underway. In order to generate atosecond soft X-ray pulses, a high-intensity infrared light source is necessary. Here we have a BIBO-based optical parametric chirp pulse amplifier that produces phase-stable intense infrared pulses with a duration of 10 femtoseconds. This intense infrared OPCPS source is used to produce isolated attosecond soft X-ray pulses in the water window. The soft X-ray pulses are produced in the upper string of the beamline, then focused onto a sample to measure transient absorption spectra. Such measurement allows us to measure ultrafast electronic processes with atomic selectivity, which is beneficial to understand photo-induced dynamics of various materials for energy harness and communication technologies. We also work on various new light sources for advanced measurement techniques, such as photoemission spectroscopy, photoemission electron microscopy, and coherent scattering imaging. The Measurement Systems and Technology Development Group at Hongo Campus of the University of Tokyo is working on the R&D of the Submicron Focusing Project. 
A key technology here is high-precision mirror fabrication, necessary for submicron focusing of high-order harmonics pulses in the XUV and soft X-ray wavelength regions. Organic abrasive machining, OAM in short, can figure the mirror surface with nanometer level accuracy. Rotating gear supplies organic particle to a mirror surface. Then the surface material is removed. This technology is applied to cutting edge EUV focusing mirror. The removal mechanism of OAM is also studied energetically with this apparatus. The researchers are also developing a big mirror replication apparatus. By using a fabricated ellipsoidal mirror or Walter mirror, the researchers are able to focus the high-order harmonics beam down to the submicron size so that they can achieve the light field intensity of 10 to the 14th watt per square centimeter at the focus, which is sufficiently strong for the submicron laser processing. We are now working very hard to achieve the goals. By the end of the research project, uh, which will be concluded in 2028. We are ready to accept uh, talented graduate students and young researchers as uh, research students and postdoctoral fellows and uh, research staff members. Um, if you have gotten interested in our research project, please do not hesitate to contact me at my email address.